Hey everybody, Hot Monkey here. In this video, I'm going to show you how to properly update your Intel graphics card. And we're going to be doing that in three steps. The first step is going to be figuring out the exact model of your Intel graphics card. The second step is going to be finding and downloading the compatible driver from the official Intel website. And the third step is going to be installation. But first things first, we're going to open up our device manager and we're going to do that by clicking on start. We're going to right click on computer and go to properties. Now we're going to click here on device manager. Now once this dialog box opens up, we're going to go to the entry of display adapters. That's right here. As you can see, I have two. One is my Intel HD Graphics 4000 and the other is my high performance NVIDIA GeForce card. Now in this video we're going to be concerned about the Intel HD graphics uh, display adapter. So once you find the exact model of your Intel graphics card, you're going to want to write the name down on a piece of paper or your notepad because we're going to be searching for it in step two. So for step two, first we'll see how to manually find the compatible driver. We're going to open up our internet browser, in my case I'm using Google Chrome, and I'm going to open the official Intel website. I'm going to click on menu, I'm going to go down to support, now click on downloads and drivers, and I'm going to click on browse for drivers. Now once this page opens up, you can um, search for your uh, driver by category or you can simply type in uh, the product name or keyword in the search box. Now I know my model, so I'm going to search for it and it's Intel HD Graphics 4000. I'm going to click to search. Now here you're going to get a list of search results, but we're going to take a look at the descriptions of the results in order to find clues that will tell us if this is the driver that we're looking for or not. So for the first entry, I can automatically tell that this isn't the one that I'm looking for because under type it says documentation. The second says Intel Iris and HD graphics driver for Windows 7 8, 8.1 32-bit. Now I do have an HD graphics card but this uh, particular driver is for 32-bit uh, versions of Windows. So if I take a look at the third entry in the search results, I can see that it's the exact same thing as the previous one, except this time it's for 64-bit versions of Windows. So right now I can tell that this is probably what I'm looking for, so I'm going to click on it. And I already know that this certain driver is compatible with my operating system, and it's compatible with my graphics card. But I'm going to scroll down to take a look at the detailed description to get more clues. It says here that this driver supports Intel Iris Graphics, Intel Iris Pro Graphics, and Intel HD Graphics on the following generations of Intel processors. Now, I have a Intel Core i3 processor, which I know is a third generation processor, so I already know that this particular driver is compatible with my processor. And if I scroll down, even more, it says that the driver supports Intel HD graphics and then it gives you a list of processor models. So take a look at this description and see if you can find your processor model here. And if you can, then that's a pretty good clue that this driver is compatible with your system. For my final clue, I'm going to scroll down to the bottom of the page where it says this download is valid for the products listed below. And second on the list are third generation Intel Core processors with Intel HD Graphics 4000. So I know I have a third generation Intel Core processor and remember from the beginning of the video in my device manager I found that I have a Intel HD Graphics 4000. So right now I know for sure that this driver is the one that I want. So if I go back to the top of the page I can see two download files. The first one is an execute file and the second one is a zip file. Which one should I download? Now, down in the description, Intel says that 
the execute file is in self-installing format and it's intended for end users. So those are users like myself and probably you. The zip file is in zip format and it's intended for developers and IT professionals. Now with that in mind, I still would recommend going with the zip file because using the execute file can actually cause you certain problems and I'll show you what I mean. So for the purposes of this video, I'm going to download both of these files, but for you, I would definitely recommend going with the zip file. So click on the blue arrow, accept the terms of use, set a location where you want to save it, and then click save. Now, if all of this is too much for you, then you can always let Intel automatically detect your hardware and then recommend the compatible software for your system. So in order to do this, you're going to click on Menu and go down to Support. Then you're going to click on Downloads and Drivers. And then instead of clicking on Browse for Drivers, you're going to click on Automatically Find Drivers and Software. Now when this page opens, you're going to click on the blue button that says Check Your System for Drivers. And if you're using Google Chrome like myself, then you're going to have to go up here click on this and allow the process to continue and then it's gonna ask for another permission and of course since this is a trusted website you're gonna allow it to do what it wants now you can't see this because fraps is not recording it but I just gave the program some permissions that it required and now I'm waiting for it to load And once it finishes loading it's gonna show me a list of Intel hardware that I have installed on my system and it's going to recommend the compatible software that I can download. So as you can see there's my graphic driver and it's telling me that there is a newer driver available. Now if I click on the little plus here I can see that this is the exact same driver that I just found manually and I can prove that by clicking on the description for the driver and if I click on it you'll see that it's the same page that we just found manually a few minutes ago now here's the reason why I don't recommend going with the execute file if you download it and then try to install it the usual way very often you'll get a error message let me just show you the one I got so it just started installing the way you would normally expect it and then all of a sudden I get this message this operating system is not supported even though I know that I downloaded the 64-bit driver and I have a 64-bit version of Windows 7 so now I'm gonna show you a way to work around that problem and that's why we needed to download the zip file now unfortunately due to certain technical difficulties I wasn't able to record the uninstallation process of the old driver and the installation of the new driver because fraps couldn't capture that don't worry I'll give you a step-by-step -step guide on what you need to do in order to properly update your Intel graphics driver now the first thing you're gonna have to do is uninstall your old driver so in order to do that we're gonna go to our start button right click on computer and go to properties then we're going to go back to our device manager we're going to find our display adapters and we're going to double click on our Intel graphics card entry then we're going to go to the driver tab and down here we're going to click on uninstall and then it's going to say warning you're about to uninstall the device from your system make sure that this is not checked so this must not be checked and then click OK and then it's going to uninstall your old driver and it's going to require you to restart your computer now you might get a black screen while this happens like I did and in that case just leave it alone for about a few minutes and if it doesn't come back then just simply hit enter and then your computer should restart or you can force restart your computer or laptop by pushing the hardware button so for now I'm going to click cancel now once this old driver uninstalls and you restart your computer you're gonna have really really bad graphics on your desktop so don't get a scare about that that's normal so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to our driver zip file and we're gonna right click anywhere on our desktop and we're gonna create a new folder and we're gonna call it Intel 
graphics or simply Intel HD. And then we're going to open the zip file that we downloaded from intel.com. We're going to highlight everything and we're going to go to extract to and we're going to find that new folder that we just created on our desktop and we're going to click OK and wait for it to extract. Okay, so once this is done, we can close this. Now we're going to go back to our device manager. So we're going to go to computer, right click on it, properties, device manager. We're going to find our display adapter again, Intel HD graphics 4000. I'm going to click on the driver tab one more time, and I'm going to click on update driver right here. Now it's going to ask you how do you want to search for driver software. You can search automatically for update driver software or browse your computer for driver software you're gonna click on the second option so you're gonna browse your computer click here and then right here you're gonna click on the browse button and you're gonna find the folder where you just extracted the driver files so that's on my desktop and it was called Intel HD so you're gonna highlight that folder and then simply click OK and then you're going to simply click next and the update process is going to start. And then that might take a moment after it's finished, it's going to ask you to restart your computer in order for the installation to be complete. Once you restart your computer, your Intel HD driver will be updated. So there you have it. There might be a little bit of work in this, but this is the proper way to update your Intel graphics card drivers. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up share and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.